All right, folks, I'm back at my unit. This is for Phil Horner, David Dumnell, and John Driver. <clears throat> you three guys seem to be concerned that I'm running out of space or I've got too many machines or whatever. <clears throat> I wish I had too much money. But there you go, I thought I'd give you another show round. What are we in now? August? Yeah, it's August, so this will be in August. It seems to be a monthly thing, but well, that's okay. So you can see if I've got space or not, or if I should have this many machines. In fact, look, there's my spare MPU-4s. Shame I ain't got that many MPU-3s. But yeah, they're my spare MPU-4s. Uh, these are the kind of the ones waiting to come in, as I see in waiting. They need wheels. They won't come into the unit until they've got wheels. So all in a day's work is there. That there. This obviously needs working on. Might not be able to do it. So that might be scrap anyway. <laughs> Uh, that one there has got a really bad bottom of the cabinet. I've still no idea how I'm going to sort that. I have no idea at all. I am not Jesus. I'm not a carpenter. And this one here has got wiring issues. And so I'm not sure about. So some of these might be scrapped or go into my other unit over at Galston. But if you're worried about space. But yeah, look, there's all this space here. I mean, that chair there needs to go. We're going to have these two, but we've got the party time chairs, so they can, they, they'll can they stay. That chair can go. I've got space here in the floor, <clears throat> and I want to try and keep that empty. <clears throat> and for those of you who don't know or whatever, unfortunately, not unfortunately, actually, it's going to a, a, a quite a personal friend. It's a bit of a personal machine for him. So I've just, this is going. I will be doing a video of that in a bit. Yeah, this is going. There you go, it is what it is. Um, so, we go down here. We've got space here. If I join that up, I choose to have that gap there because it's quite useful, but I could shove all these machines up or I could, I could probably get another four machines there in that space alone if I want to. And obviously, I've got that 2P copper gambler to come back to go with this super nudge gambler. Then that one will go back in its spot there. But if I wanted to, I've got space for two machines here. The only reason I leave that empty is because so I can walk through like that. That is the only reason. But when the time comes, and it will, two more machines will go there and that will be blocked. Um, obviously, MPU freeze. And here. So... I mean, they're obviously backs against the wall, so they, they're staying like that. I have got another machine coming as well that's going in this budget between them two. So there'll be exchanges galore. There will be another MPU4 going there, which I'm surprised none of you have asked, because I, I have put a post about it on, on here, but it might be a bit confusing, so I used a little YouTube video. So and that one will be going... That, these will be swapped around a little bit, so the new machine will go where the crack the nut is, next to line up, crack the nut will move over to here... Uh, club machines, as you know, blah, blah, blah. so that one might go eventually, it might not. Uh, then three are staying, or four are staying. I've got room, in, I, I don't need to keep that roller shutter clear, do I? <clears throat> I mean, I only need to keep it clear so I can get stuff in and out at the end. I mean, once these have had wheels, then they'll be moved. I mean, I could put another two or three machines here quite easily and still have space on the floor here. So it's no, I have got space, and if and if push comes to even more shove, I could put some of the less favourite ones over my other unit in Galston. It's perfectly dry and safe, and I can put them in the middle of there. I could fit probably eight or nine, ten machines in there, which I could sort of rotate with others, sort of I don't know less favourite machines, which are there. But I don't know. Though this would be one shake and take could go over there. That would free up another space if I wanted. So, you know, I have got plenty plenty of options, really. I mean, that club machine could go over Galston, and then when I want to sort of play him, I could bring him back over here. It's not, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's, not, it's not really that much hassle. Just lump him in the car and go. But at the moment, I don't have to do that. I've definitely got spaces here. I'll put them two like that so I can walk through like that. I sort of look there and look there. We're having a good look around at the moment, aren't we? I mean, if Kim gets bored of party time, that could go. That could go, and that, that all this could go. The seats, the, the two players, and the tops. 
and that would fit about five or six machines around that corner if she gets bored of it probably won't it'll probably stay I, I don't mind it i could probably push it more into the corner i could push that more back there's certainly space to because now i know how the top box works it's kind of sticking forward a bit um uh, yeah i mean there's plenty of space to get in and out of the door obviously the, the service doors so just for those who are concerned about the amount of space, I mean, obviously, I pay, I mean, everyone knows, I pay £500 a month for this unit, or £10 shy of it, I pay £490 every month for this unit. Am I going to pay £490 to store 20 machines, or am I going to ram in as many as I can get in there, which would make it cost-effective in effect? Makes it more worthwhile. If I can store 100 machines in this unit... It makes the £490 a month more worth it, doesn't it? Don't you think? Yes? No? I mean, answers, please. Uh, I will reply. And sometimes I, I reply late at night because I don't always get notifications from YouTube that people have um, commented my, on my video. So we'll clear that one up while we're stood here walking around. I don't ignore purposely anyone's comments sometimes i don't get notified and then sometimes all of a sudden i'll get notification that there's 10 comments i can't always i'm busy i'm i work full time like 20 miles from home i often work overtime <clears throat> i often work saturdays for 12 hours which keeps me out of the house for 14 so i can pay for this that's you know that's what it's all about so uh, I'm I can't always answer things, but sometimes at night when I'm at work and it's not so busy on nights and the managers are not about and I can go on my phone a bit easier without people coming around going off your phone, off your phone. Then I look at my videos on YouTube one by one and I look to see if there's any comments and there's quite often comments I've not seen before and then I'll answer more so if you get notifications at two, three in the morning, four in the morning, that that's because that's what I'm doing. I'm answering the comments at that time i don't ignore people those who know me have got my phone number and i've got my facebook they're friends with me on facebook and messenger and all that crap and um what they call it instagram and message me there if, if needs be but um, i mean and the thing is there's no point messaging me asking me to do a machine i haven't got or i haven't got anymore because you've looked at a video that's five years old because, you know, I like to keep it. I like doing the videos, and I'm not going to stop. And I know it's the same machines. So, uh, but with, when you've got such a variety of machines, and a lot of machines, a machine I do now, I might not do for another four months, three months. So, yeah. so, it's, so it's like fresh footage again. So I'm not having a rant or moan. I'm not moaning at anyone. And the thing is, people are like, have you got space? Should you have so many machines? Well... Should Richard Branson have so much money? You know, it's it's one of them, isn't it? <clears throat> At the end of the day, a lot of these machines, not all of them, but a lot of these machines would not exist if it wasn't for people like me and, and Chris and Nick and others. Paul Newey as well. And JPM Stu and Simon and there's lots of other people. If I, if I didn't have such an obsession with black box, a lot of these would have been skipped. A lot of these black box machines I've picked up in the nick of time before they've been smashed. or Because no one wants them, or no one wanted them. I know the prices have gone silly lately and people want machines now. But two, three years ago, no one, no one wanted these. MPSs, no one wanted them. True collectors, no, I don't do MPS. System A, ESRU, MPU3 only. But I like MPS. So a lot of these, again, are saved because of me. This one here, he was going to smash it. He'll tell you himself he was going to smash it. It, it, it. it would have been gone for good. You know, so... And this one on the end was a free one. And they, they were thinking of skipping it before advertising it on Facebook. So, a lot of these machines, if it wasn't for me and others, these, they wouldn't exist. You wouldn't see them. And you wouldn't get the videos. I try and do nice videos. I try and be entertaining. I try and be funny. <clears throat> I'm sometimes serious. Um, I, I, people who know me well will know that I didn't start even speaking on the videos till about three years ago. So I'd done videos for two or three years without speaking. All the first videos got no speaking. I was never intending to speak. I was like, no, I'm never speaking on the thing. Look at me. I hate my voice. <clears throat> my voice, I'm a dummy brummy. It sounds dumb. On videos 
but it is what it is and you know so to, to ampy who sent that sort of put put that on the on the thing you know i used to watch you don't no one has to watch any of my videos no one has to watch any of them i mean some videos i put on they, they only get about 20 30 views so you know it is what it is I don't know. I ain't bothered. I've got. I've only got. I've got nine hundred and something subscribers. It would be nice to have more, but it's not the end of the week. Don't make no difference to me if I have a million subscribers, does it? Um, YouTube actually offered me. Well, not offered me. Said if I ever was willing to have adverts put in my uh, videos, adverts while the machines were playing, they would give me so much pence per video. And I said no. I don't want adverts in my in my videos because I I find that annoying. I noticed uh, Steve Parr, you, yeah, you, Steve Parr, you've got adverts in your videos. You obviously get, you know, get paid for that. I don't want adverts in my videos. I find it annoying. <clears throat> Often I'll watch a video and if an advert comes on, I just off, switch it off. So, anyway, a good, <laughs> it's quite a long video. <laughs> That's a good look round. I don't know whether people are still watching or have got bored, but it is what it is. So I just sort of cleared a few things up. I have got space, and I'm kind of entitled to have as many machines as I want. I mean, I sacrifice. I'm not going to go on and on and on and on and on. I do enough of that with the missus. I sacrifice. Well, me and Kim, to be fair, we sacrifice a lot for this, and it's not even her hobby. She's not even overly interested. Every time I get another machine, it means I'm out for the whole day. I'm not with her. I get the eye roll. I get the, oh, not again, not again. I get all that. So it's no different, but now I'm saving. I'm going. I'm saving a machine. I'm. I'm going out to save a machine, and she's like, Ooh. and we go without a lot. We don't have a nice car. We don't have foreign holidays. We have a silly little terrorist house that's tiny. We ain't got no money, and partly this is why. I. We, this is what I choose to do. You'll never see me go abroad. I'm not interested. I go to English seaside towns and try and find more old machines. That's that's what I do. That's my holidays. I spend all my time, well, me and Kim, we spend all our time going around arcades, looking for parts, looking to make contacts, looking for machines that might appear, look like Western, nice to play in Wesley's arcade, go down Bogner playing Dave's arcade. And I'm get, we're off to Blackpool next weekend because so I've got two machines to pick up next weekend and, we, and we're going to have half a day in Blackpool. I want to go to Higgins Arcade, so I'm going to do some videos there, so expect that. Um, there isn't really much else to say now. Like I say, I'm not, I don't want to have a moan and a rant. I don't want to moan at people. I'm, I'm friendly and I, and I like to keep things friendly and I like to keep things light, light-hearted and jokerly and kind of <clears throat> I play machines. That's it. Not for not for winning. Not for I'm not a player. I'm not a. I don't know the emptiers. I don't know the real orders. I sometimes miss the skill stops quite often lately. I'm I'm not a player as they call them. I'm not one of them. I'm on jackpotty, but I'm not a player. I'm just over enthusiastic collector. And even I realise that it's probably going too far sometimes. But you know the thing is, I think I think to myself, no more machines. I've got enough. Got enough. Plenty of machines, I've got some to work on, and then bang, something like that comes on eBay, and I get it for 62 quid. Why Why wouldn't I have it? It, it, it? You know, it fits in. Bang, this one was going to be smashed up. The, the, the guy actually messaged me from Northern Ireland and said, I'm about to smash this up, Steve. Is there anything you want off it? And I begged him not to smash it. I said, Don't smash it for fuck's sake. And I paid, you know, I paid £115 in courier. To, he gave me the machine for free. You know, it's missing a power supply, but he, he told me that. It's got a board in it, and he said it works. So. But, yeah, I paid 115 quid for a, a courier to bring that over. Rather than see it get smashed up, I might not be able to get it working. And that's the gamble. I'm, I'm taking that gamble, no one else. And I'm not asking anyone to take the gamble, you know. But I'd like to save that machine. I'd like to see that. This one here. Another one, I paid the guy a lot of money for a machine that was looking worth 50 quid in scrap rather than see it get smashed. So, this one free. They told me they'd be messed about. People had promised to, to go and pick it up. They hadn't picked it up and I was thinking of taking it down the tip. And I went, no, no, no. I begged them and begged them and begged them. And they went, okay, okay. And I went that weekend and picked it up free. Would have been down the tip. So, anyway. <laughs> 
I hope you enjoyed the look round, and <clears throat> I will be. I'm hoping you. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of videos while I'm here. I'm probably going to fire up these four here in this cab to get a last look at these four <clears throat> because obviously Crown Gamblers going next weekend. And I'm getting a MPU4 exchanges unlimited, a 2P1 to go with the lineup. So those who've bothered to watch it for 15 minutes will know that now. So yes, I'm getting a, an MPU4 exchanges unlimited in that cab, basically. The BWB one, it's a 2P a go, and it will go next to light. I never thought I'd get it. I'm really excited to get it. I'm gutted to lose this one, but I'm excited to get the exchanges unlimited. That completes that little set there. And this one is going to make a dream come true for, for for quite a special friend of mine. So you know it's not it's all good. It's all good. And plus I get money my way instead of me giving him money for the exchanges. So deals a deal, and things go to good homes. Anyway, see you in a bit, folks.